We've got another 95 Things, 95 Sectors map by Perdition666. Give it a shot here on Ultraviolence. Ends up with 53 kills and 16 items. Items and kills are all things, so that's uh, 69 right there. I think I turned my gamma way up. Um, I'll just use F11. Yeah, I did. I keep it at not much. About there is good for me. I was playing a dark map and turn that up. Okay, some plasma. Two secrets. So yeah, a potential issue in the previous map. Um, by this mapper with kind of the same theme was um, really, really big spaces. Guess we'll start shooting humans. Four? Really? That's pretty rare. Oh, there's a shotgun guy up there. <laughs> wow, really bad aim. All right, um... Yeah, just something to point out. This is something that I kind of used to do as a, as a beginner a lot in mapping. Um, I mean, you could still call me a beginner. I've compared to people who've been mapping for 20 plus years. But anyway, um, something that I used to do would be to have a ceiling sector and then have the exact same shape for the floor sector and that that now now to me that always seems kind of odd um, it can it can work but so, but sometimes it just seems kind of odd maybe the skylights maybe something else could be going on with the floor that has nothing to do with the shape of the skylights kind of looks looks weird how it's cut out exactly the same there and here. Um, unless there were supposed to be like a crater coming through, then that would make sense, but... And pretty noticeable misalignment above the door there. Looks like all you need there is an uprun peg. That door is locked. So we'll do this one. Yeah, I mean, again, in here it looks like it's going to be way too much space for whatever is out here. It looks like we got a little hanger action, huh? Hmm. Not a lot of, uh... shells here. Yeah, look how much space there is in this map. I mean, a lot of traversing here. Yeah, I mean, in, in here, the, the space isn't really negative or positive, it turns out. I mean, because all the combat is, well, most of the combat is on these um, platforms anyway. So it's like, it doesn't really matter how big or how small this is. So if it is going to be this big... I think generally you want a little bit more visual beauty and detail, which probably is hard to do with 95 sectors only. So again, at the end of the day, I'd probably end up shrinking this room. Here we have it again, kind of the same shape on the ceiling, same shape on the floor. Um, again, that's a product of sector limitation as well, but uh, it does kind of jump out at you as a little bit odd. I'm going to try to get some clips here. 
Actually, screw the clips. I'm gonna get the shells instead. I wonder if that's a secret. Or maybe that's necessary. I think that's a secret. Oh, we gotta shoot it. Uh oh. This is not damaging. That is probably a mistake. Huh. None of it's damaging. I think that's supposed to be damaging. I shot the switch. Don't know what it did, though. It's only tested in GZ Doom. I don't know that it uses any fancy line specials or anything. So if it doesn't, that means that uh, it's most likely a door open. That's usually what gun switches are. GR door open, right? Actually, I think there might only be two or three in the original Doom shootable uh, actions. There's, there's open, door open, and I think there's a ceiling one, or maybe a floor one as well. Oh, you know, I might have opened that plasma. Where was that? Where did I see that? I think I heard Revenant, <laughs> so might be good to go look for that plasma. Wait, where was that? Over there? Nah, there we go. That's two secrets, so that's a mistake there too. So yeah, okay, that's probably what the shootable switch does, and then you kind of just got to remember to go back. Because, you know, obviously you've, you've, everyone's going to see that plasma gun and think that's probably a secret. And then you hit a switch and you're like, well, what did that do? So I don't, I don't actually mind that type of a secret where you just you, you clearly saw something earlier that was a secret. Now you just got to remember when you do hit the switch. Oh, yeah, there was that plasma gun. Um, maybe it could be a little bit less out of the way, but still not too bad there. Oh, there's a... to get a max here. I got a max going, so. But yeah, kind of the same thing. Oops. Yeah, same thing. Really big areas, so none of these, none of them Encounters are really going to be any bit of challenge. Yeah, that was pretty obvious now that uh, I got all the secrets. Okay, so that's actually your first chain gun, isn't it? A little bit more straightforward of a map this time. The previous one had more uh, going on, I think, as far as the... Oh no! Oh my, Baron. It's gonna be a punch episode, I think. Or a Kakademon fight. He's gotta come down though, otherwise... Oh, perfect! Perfect. Is that it then? That's it. No, nope, that's not it. Still got more guys in here. Ugh. That's always a fun fight. Hmm. 
Macius is doing well. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Maybe not. Oh, he got him. I don't know. He might have won without my help, too. He might have. And that's probably the exit then. That's actually just a teleporter. Ah. Okay. Alright. Um. Map tiles are normally in the grayish font, aren't they? That looks weird to me. Is that what it normally it is? It must be. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I've already expressed kind of some doubt about this whole concept as a whole as far as 95 sectors and 95 things. I just don't know that it's all that noticeable a concept while you're playing the map. I mean, if it's for mapping purposes, like get the creativity flowing or, or something like that, yeah, by all means. Um, just not sure it's really something that a player will ever really notice. But anyway, that, that uh, aside, I think this map... Um, I mean, it kind of, kind of does a lot. It, you know, you've got this kind of big techie area. Then you got the E1 area, and then you take a slight, unexpected turn down into this basement, or not basement, but uh, whatever underground area. And then it's kind of hellish at the end. So. And these connections are, are very sudden. I mean, yeah, a lift is somewhat organic, but still, I think the connections are a little bit sudden. Here, it's just a door, and boom, you're in this hellish area. And it doesn't help that the map's not really connected at all. Here's really the only area where there's connection. You, you've got the view to the plasma area. You've got uh, this whole thing is kind of a hub, and you end up going around and coming up right there, which is kind of cool. But other than that, you don't really have much connection in this map. You just kind of go, go, you never see anything except the area you're currently in. And now I'm here, you hit the switch, the door opens, now you're in here, etc. So, and again, just, just really big spaces here. Now I think uh, perhaps a slightly better job, even if the layout I don't think is better than that original first map, I think uh, the big space is perhaps used a little bit better. I'd still would like to see the space be a lot smaller. However, we've got mostly turrets here, don't we? We've got turret gunners, so then it doesn't really matter how big your space is, because they can hit you. And also, they're not moving in the space, only you are. So that uh, makes a little bit more sense. Same thing out here. This space doesn't really matter how big or small it is when all the monsters are in precise locations on turrets anyway. Um, obviously it would be nice if the nukage worked. Um, but even without it working, um, or even if it if it did work, there's really not a lot in here to force um, Doom Guy to move around. Most of the stuff is really happening on these turrets. I guess I guess there actually are quite a few monsters down below. One, two, three but a lot of them looks like a regular form of humans. The only real threats that are on the ground level is one, two sergeants, and a specter all the way back here. Um, so, yeah, with this much space, and, and even with the safe spot being this wide, I mean, you've got plenty of room to dodge imps without having to quick jump into the nukage or anything like that. Um, Actually, are there any imps? So I can't really tell between these corpses sometimes. I think there were some imps in here. However, I think the ground level should probably have some imps as well. Um, you don't have to move a lot to dodge turret monsters, obviously, because they've got a high angle they're working with. So that has... This has... Yeah, these, are, these all have ammo, so I don't think there are any imps here. Ammo there. Okay, this is an imp, right? Okay, so there's one imp. Or are these imps too? Okay, two imps over here and one imp over there. So that means that every other monster, and there's a specter over there, but like 10 of the 13 monsters roughly in here are hit scan. 
which completely nullifies the fact that you're on a safe walk here. Like, you don't dodge hit scan, so there's, um, without any fireballs or anything coming at you, you, don't, you never have to worry about getting off the safe space. It would be nice if you had some uh, significantly more imps, or maybe even a hell knight on the ground level, so that you actually have to dodge and potentially get off the safe space. That and making it narrower, narrower I think, would be uh, beneficial to the combat overall. Looks like we got a... Yeah, looks like the ceiling there is the wrong one. Um... But yeah, kind of just really big exercises in Doom Builder, I think. Um, I think... I mean, you remember, oh yeah, it's 95 sectors. And that's it, so that's not a ton, so does that, you know, does that excuse the the bareness? Does that excuse the not much light variety going on? Stuff like that, I mean, I, I guess it explains it, if, if nothing else, but to me, that's just more evidence that, unfortunately, it's just not that good a gimmick to be working with. I, I mean, or at least it's not being executed as well as perhaps it could be. Um, you know, maybe 95 sectors is better suited to a smaller map where you can put in some more detail or, or at least do something with lighting or, or something. Um, but yeah, it seems like uh, just really, really big maps and and not a lot of uh, stuff inside them. Seems like an obvious solution would be, well, have smaller maps and then you can put more, use more of your things and sectors for those purposes. But, what do I know? I mean, Perdition 666 is, uh, I think, making a megawatt based on this premise, so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's Doom. It's it's there. It's, it's, go shoot monsters and, and collect keys and open doors and hit switches, so it's certainly Doom. It's got a little bit of a gimmick to it as far as how it's put together, one that I don't think is very noticeable, however, um, that's the way we want to go, that's the way we're going, so there's your deformation. Yeah. Alright, we'll just exit again. Yeah, alright, we're done.